Welcome back with a new lesson 1.10 Addition and Subtraction of Decimal Fractions But before we learn how to add or subtract decimal fractions What is a decimal? A decimal is a fraction whose denominator is 10, 100, 1000 or any power of 10 Look to the picture shown to you to learn the place value of each digit in the shown number. By looking for the decimal point here, notice that this is the ones and when you go to the left, you will pass through the place values, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten billions, hundred billions. But if you go to the right side, you will pass with through the place values, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousand and so on so the ones is dividing the place values to the left we have tens to the right we have tenths to the left we have hundreds to the right we have hundredths and so on if you know the place values then it's easy to read any number. Let us learn how to read a decimal fraction through these examples. Since we have nothing to the left hand side of the decimal point, so we will read only the right hand side of it. It is 5, but we have the first place value for te the tenth, the second one for the hundredth. So we read it 5 hundredths example 2 the same we have only 6 to the right hand side so we will read it 6 but what is the place value for the last number to the right tenth hundredth thousandth ten thousandth so we will read it 6 ten thousandths Example 3, look to the number on the left of the decimal, it is 24, so just write 24. The decimal itself, we read it AND, and then the number to the right of the decimal point, we read it 41, so just write 41. And then ask yourself about the last place value which is the number one, it is the hundredth. So here we will say hundredths. So we read it 24 and 41 hundredths. Let us take this final example. Read first the number to the left of the decimal point, 234. So we will say 234 and this is the decimal the number to the right we read it 127 so we will say and 127 but the last value here let us pass through the place values to the right of the decimal point, tenth, hundredth, thousandth, ten thousandth, hundred thousandth. So the last place value is hundred thousandth. So here we will write hundred thousandth. And this is the way we read decimal fractions. Some decimals 
are called repeating decimals such as this one and we can write it like this just put a dash over the number which is repeating the same with this number here we can write it 72 6 4 since the number 4 is repeating so I'll put a dash over it also we can write this number as 0.21 with a dash over it now we want to learn how to change between a decimal fraction and a common fraction so look to this example change three quarters to a decimal the way we change a fraction to a decimal is to make the denominator power of tens ten hundred thousand and so on but also we can use long division to do that since the line of a fraction means dividing so I can write 3 divided by 4 we can't divide here so we will put a 0 since 3 can be written as 3 point zeros whatever the number of zeros to the right there is no change for the value of this number now we put a decimal point in the answer and we divide 30 by 4 this gives us 7 7 times 4 is 28 subtract we have a remainder 2 bring down the 0 20 divided by 4 is 5 5 times 4 is 20 and the remainder is 0 so the division finishes I can say that 3 quarters is equal to 75 hundredths example 2 change 2 over 3 to a decimal we will do the same steps 2 divided by 3 we can put a decimal here with zeros and start dividing 2 divided by 3 we can't divide so put a zero put the decimal up 20 divided by 3 you have 6 6 times 3 is 18 subtract you will have 2 as a remainder bring the 0 down 20 divided by 3 you will have also 6 6 times 3 is 18 subtract you will have 2 as a remainder bring another 0 down and so on it will not finish and we have a repeating decimal so 2 over 3 is equal to point six 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 and so on so we can write it as a repeating number just put a dash over the number six now we want to learn how to change from a decimal number to a common fraction change three tenths to a common fraction it's very easy how do you read this decimal it is three tenths so just write the number in the numerator and put a ten in the denominator example two change the number 25 hundredths to a common fraction this is going to be in the numerator just write all the numbers you have got and we have two decimal values one two so just write two zeros down there so it is 25 over 100 but 
sometimes we need to simplify this number since we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25 also we will have 1 over 4 and this is the most simplified fraction which is equal for the decimal number we want to change example 3 change the number 13 and 64 hundredths so directly any number to the left of the decimal point just put it as a whole number 13 and in the numerator you can put what you have to the right of the decimal point over one and two zeros the same like number of decimal values also here you can simplify your answer so the final one is going to be 3 and 16 over 25 let us go now to learn how to add or subtract decimals look for these examples here example 1 add 516 and 3 tenths to 9 and 421 thousandths to add these two numbers be careful to put the decimal points in one column or on one line vertically so first put your decimal points and then distribute the numbers to the left and the right of these decimal points so now we will write these numbers the missing numbers we can fill them by zeros if we want so now we can add as usual as we the same way we do with whole numbers so 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 3 plus 4 6 plus 9 15 we have 1 here 1 plus 1 is 2 and 5 comes down and our answer is 525 and 721 thousandths the same way we can do it with subtraction so in this example here subtract 2 and 76 hundredths from 541 and 2 tenths be careful that you also must put the decimal points in one column first to subtract then distribute your numbers to the right and left of this point and also be careful to put the number came after the word from first and the other number fill the missing places with zeros start subtracting 0 minus 6 we should borrow from the tenths so this will be 1 and this is going to be 10 10 minus 6 is 4 1 minus 7 borrow again so this will be 11 11 minus 7 is also 4 0 minus 2 we will borrow from 4 this will be 3 and this is going to be 10 10 minus 2 is 8 3 minus 0 is 3 and 5 minus 0 is 5 and our answer is 538 and 44 hundredths I think now that it is clear how to add and subtract decimal fractions by this 
we reach the end of this lesson. Thank you.